friends. The best way I found to f find someone in the audience is um, I had a few hits or misses. I had someone who looked right and it didn't turn out to be the best person to pull. I find that the, the humor actually works for me. I think it works for the audience because they feel that person's discomfort, they feel his pain, that if the person seems to be too gregarious and into it, it must be mm -hmm. a plant. Mm -hmm. I get accused of having plants all the Psychia. time because he gets Psychia. that. Slick. So you want someone who's not too good, but you want someone who's going to go along with it. So I've started asking wives to volunteer husbands okay. because I know that wives are very honest. They know what their husbands will and won't do. <laughs> so when one wife starts making gestures, you know, and the guy's just looking at her and he's laughing, <laughs> you know, or, or maybe occasionally pulling the hand down sheepishly, he's the perfect guy. Yeah. And I've never had any failure with that nice. guy. Nine times out of ten, I find if they, the corporate client wants me to get someone up in particular, <sighs> that person's the, the, the clown at work, uh, right. or, doesn't work, or they don't like him and they want to get him up to embarrass mm -hmm. him. And so it never works. It's never going to work on either, either way. I've, I've had that same problem. I tried to explain to people that, that, um, you don't, it works because people don't, they know it's not a plant. Good. They, they yeah. know that they, they, it could have been me. Yeah. And that's yeah. what you're playing off of, is that, that tension that it could, that could be me. Uh, but the moment it's, it's the, the class clown or the class clown for your corporation, it pretty yeah. much kills the bit for me. I've, I've got to find some other way to say, we've never met, are you yeah. sure, we, you know, to let people know that. Um, so you typically pick uh, a man, you guys, I, yeah. in your yeah, in your typically. routines, and then um, a man that is kind of shy, the, the a reason, bit shy. The reason I pick a guy because and, and and you were saying the same thing is we tried it with females and crossing the gender line gets a little awkward. Yeah, you certainly can't do the same type of act. Exactly, I have used women before. And plus, you know. plus in every culture, men who've never even met might can instinctively. Kind of pick on the other guy, mm -hmm. just the way it's just saying, "Hey, you know, can I buy you a beer or whatever?" Yeah. And there's, there's always a little competition, a little friction, yeah. and it's in good natured. It's fun, and you carry that into the masker team. You can't do that uh, crossing a no. man right. and a woman, and not and nowadays. Not not it's nowadays, yeah. Well. And some of the most great dynamics on stage with with a guy in the mask is the play off of his wife out in the audience. Yes, and that's the other reason why I want wives to volunteer husbands. Now that gives me a, a reason for the husband to want to get back at the wife, <laughs> even though he's not really doing it. Right. That's great. One thing I use a lot is uh, asking them where they, uh, before I put the mask on, where they're from, what yes. suburb, town, whatever, mm -hmm. and what do they do? Whether, whether it's a work function or not, what do they do for a living? And I use them constantly and, throughout the act. And I try to work oh, good. back into the routine. It's, just, it's, a, it's a running gag. <clears> yeah. whatever. whatever he says, whatever the, the punchline is, the tag is always, oh, I'm, a, I'm an electrician or I'm a public <laughs> service or... And it just keeps getting that laugh, you know. And especially when it's when you don't expect it, you know. Yeah. Are you going to sing now? No. Why not? I'm an electrician. It, it's not a funny line. <laughs> but they laugh. Because of it. And that, and when yeah, I'm from so and so. Sure. I'm from so and so. Right. And, you know. Yeah. And that's usually the finishing line for my act. Oh, that's great. It's been great I've to asked, have you here. I've asked guys that say, you know, where you, you know, where you're from. I go from Australia. So then later I'll do a call back and say, you know, said, can you dance? And he'll say no. And says, well, I used to dance. I used to be a Chippendale in Melbourne. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, perfect. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Tie it back or, in. Or yeah. Sydney or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you use me music in yours? Uh, not generally now because I'm. You do a lot of music in your show too. Not now. Not now. No. Because he's a musician. Uh, Darren's a great singer and guitar player. And the corporate jobs, there's you know, unless you want to get there four hours before ah. to do a quick setup with your sound check, you know, mm -hmm. CD or whatever. Yeah. Um, it's just not viable. You know, there's always a handheld microphone, so it's pointless yeah. sound checking that because no matter, no matter where you, when you go on, they're going to change it because right. everyone else is going to talk through it. So mm -hmm. I tend to I put the push the music aside Got and just it. do it um, without the music. And yeah. they usually sing. It's either one of so it's either Danny Boy dressed up as a Scotsman, mm -hmm. which is ridiculous because it's an Irish song, <laughs> um, or it's Elvis, and they sing. If it's a mixed group, they'll dress him up as Elvis and I'll sing Love Me Tender and you're just doing it acapella a lady in the audience acapella uh, just acapella okay yeah. and Ron you are using a CD obviously with uh, your when you're smiling right you've got great stuff worked out it's right. almost Broadway style well it's it, there's little bits of business that yeah. have evolved over time and every time I went back into a studio and redubbed the song we added more space and more time and so oh, we nice. it to, to work to time it for yeah. those kicks and everything yeah because there's a, there's a point where I say okay sort of big finish yes uh, uh, and it goes into what we call cut time. You know, right, right. And I need. To, I now know I need to lengthen that because there's a few more right. bits of direction wow. I need to give the guy to put one foot yeah. or further hands yep. back, just a little Elvis in the hips, and then exactly. So it's, been, it's been thirty years, and you're still 
over it. It's oh, yeah. so sure. incredible. Right. Yeah. And, and we also add a lighting valley who just for that last part of oh, okay. So oh. when he finally does it, the little ballyhoo kicks in. Oh, and the ballyhoo nice. doesn't stop. When the, when the number right. stops, yeah. okay, the ballyhoo continues, and then we have a playoff. A little chaser. All stuff off, yeah. And then when the chaser's over, that's when the ballyhoo ends. Yeah, exactly. it's so, so good. It's, it's just evolved over time, finding yeah. the right lighting for this. Yeah, of yeah. Really, really if good. If you have lighting. Incredible. Yeah, most people aren't going to be doing it on the level that you are. Uh, wow, fantastic. Any other tips on how to pick an audience member? I, I go for the opposite. I'm short and fat, so I tend to get someone who's tall and skinny. Oh, interesting. It looks yeah. funnier. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I can also say, if he's really skinny and I'm fat, I say, look, we look like the number 10. Aha. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. he always gets a laugh before we've started the routine. <laughs> Once, I had a guy that was big charity thing, of course, every star in Los Angeles is there, and things weren't working. I pulled a guy out of the audience. Brought him up on stage. It was great because he was so much taller than me, and he was very lurch looking. And his name was Igor. I, oh my gosh! I, I think his name. He was from. You Romania. must have died. He goes, my name is Igor. <laughs> says, are you are you are you from Los Angeles? No, I'm not. I'm from Romania. He says, oh okay, so very good. Okay, okay, you're gonna wear this. And he stood there for a moment. And as I'm doing the routine, he very slowly gets up and starts to take the mask off. Oh my gosh! And I said, what? Igor, you need to keep this on. He goes, okay. And then. I do a little bit more material, and I guess his English is to the point where he doesn't know what's going on, so he's eventually just... Like he thinks you're done. <clears throat> he just took it off. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 he, he's, and, and, and I just stopped, and I go, are you okay? And he goes, I am, I am through now. <laughs> and he's walking off stage, and I still had the, the big music finale to do, and I... I, I, I as Igor's, walk, Igor's walking off stage and walking around from the front... I go, Igor, I need to finish this. <clears throat> is there someone you'd like to volunteer? <laughs> yes, you can take my brother. He is from Los Angeles. <laughs> and so I brought the brother up, and we finished it. And before oh before God. Igor sat down, I thought, I have to say something funny, and I don't know what to say. Oh, that's and hilarious. And out of nowhere came the idea. was, oh, Igor just remembered he's in a witness protection program. <laughs> And that's when I said, Igor, do you have someone else you'd like to volunteer? But it, it's like oh, it's panic great. creates the oh, best yeah. lines. Yeah. It's like, I hate to panic, <laughs> oh, but my yet gosh. some of the best material comes out of fear. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. Well, it's been great. Awesome. Thank you for sharing, guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ron.